Hey guys! Oh my goodness. Okay, you're probably going to hear that a lot during this video. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! I'm so excited! Um, I'm filming this as this has arrived because I can't not go through it, but I'm not going to probably be posting this video until I know everyone else has received theirs because obviously I don't want to make any spoilers for anyone. But oh my goodness, look what I've got my hands on! Can I just start this video? Okay, two massive, massive thank yous. Thank you so, so much, Lauren Phelps, for creating this box because it looks beautiful. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> I haven't seen any sneaks. I haven't opened it. But look at the like, look at the artwork on the box. It looks beautiful. Oh my goodness! I cannot wait to delve into this box. I'm so so excited. Um, Look, it's tea themed. Come on, it's tea themed. Oh, it's so good. It's so pretty. And I've, yeah, literally all I've done is I've just like unsealed. I just unsealed the tape. <laughs> I haven't done anything but the box. I can't move you guys up any further, but look how pretty the box is. Oh, it's so pretty. So thank you so much, Lauren. And happy anniversary. I know this is going to be a bit late by the time this goes up, but happy anniversary. So this is the seventh anniversary box from Lauren Phelps Designs and oh my goodness the advent um like last Christmas was mind-blowing so this is just going to be even more mind-blowing I cannot wait to jump in and open everything um I believe everything in here is like numbered so if you wanted to do it like the advent and open it over a few days you can um I'm just going to open it <laughs> I'm just going to open it all together um I'm going to try and maybe open it in order of the numbers I believe if I've got that right I think I've got that right um but this is, oh, and the box is huge, absolutely huge. It is bigger than the advent box um, from Christmas. So I dread to think what Lauren has spoiled us with. Um, but my second big massive thank you is to Roxanne over at Pippi Plans. Thank you so much. I'm like forever in your debt for helping me get my hands on this. So um, Lauren did do, um, teamed up with Pippi so you could get your boxes sent to her and it would make it a lot, a lot easier for shipping over to us UKers. But wow, Roxanne, thank you so much for helping me get this because I am, I am so in love with it already. Um, I honestly, I am forever in your debt. Um, so I'm going to stop waffling. <laughs> I just keep stroking the box. I'm so excited. I'm just going to jump in. So I haven't even opened it. I've seen no spoilers, no nothing. I've seen like little snippets that Lauren obviously snuck out when this was coming out um which is why i knew i had to get my hands on it um but that's literally all i've seen and all i've done like i said i've uh, just like the cellar tape along the edge of the box that's all i've done so you guys are opening this with me so be prepared for lots of squeals and screams and oh my god oh my god oh my god because <laughs> that's what it's that's what's gonna happen isn't it so um yeah i'm gonna stop waffling Ta -da! if you haven't seen what's in the box and you don't want to see what's in the box, don't watch this video. I hope you join me again another time. <laughs> but I'm hoping by the time this I put this up, um, everyone would have been receiving their boxes and you would have seen loads of bits anyway. I'm just going to put mine out there too. Why not? <laughs> so I'm going to jump in. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at it. Oh, it looks so cute. I don't know how I'm going to do this. There's so much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the box here. I'm only for, oh, there we go. Is that? Let me jump up. Is that bright enough? Because the box is kind of, the lid is blocking out a load of light now. We'll see how this goes. I've just, I've hooked it um, to keep it open. But, oh, okay. I don't want to ruin anything. I wonder if I can like slip it out of the paper without, oh, hang on. Can I, oh, hello. I have a little card here. Ooh, ah, okay. This is the little card. Oh, right. Okay. Flip for details. Okay. Hang on. Can I, there we go. The little I'm going to hide that because that's where the information was on the... Let me have a quick... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to hide that bit. I haven't read it. But that looks like a list of bits in the box. This is like a little thank you note from Lauren. How cute is that? I love it. I see all the little sneaks of what's probably going to be in here. So a little thank you card. Like We had something like this in the advent box. That's why I knew there's probably going to be a list of bits on there. Um, I don't know how to get this out. I don't want to ruin anything. I wonder, I think I can, very carefully, can I slide this off? This looks so cute, like a little old parcel. Ah! <laughs> so I'm just going to take this paper off. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, look at this. There's so many things. Okay, I might, I think you guys, I mean, I'm on tippy toes to see. I think that'll be okay. Right, okay, let's just jump in, shall we? Look, oh my goodness, look at this paper, look. 
I try to keep as much as possible from the packaging from the advent so I can like make dashboards and stuff out of it and I really want to do that again so I'm going to be really careful in trying to opening some of these packages but I'm, I'm going to go through they are all numbered I was right I think I saw like one little sneaky peek and saw that they were kind of like numbered so oh look there's number two so I'm going to go through maybe we'll just go through in order because I I don't know whether Lauren's packed it so like it would make sense in order but that's what I'm going to go for Plus, it's going to help me stay calm in opening all of this. <laughs> so, so many packages. It's like, look, different sizes and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, okay. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And you can see why I want to try and keep this packaging. Like even the little stickers. Look at the detail in the stickers. Like everything is just... Oh, it's so pretty. So this is number one. Ooh, what have we got in here? Ooh, what have we got in here? Hang on. Oh, cute! We've got like a little, um... Hang on, let me get out of the packaging. Like a little, uh, tea... Oh, this is so cute. See, we've got some... Ooh, chocolate Earl Grey. Can't say I've tried that one. But we've got some tea drops. I tried stuff like this when I, when I was very lucky to go to the Savoy. And you put it, look, in your little teapot. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to work out where you guys can see it. There we go. Do it that way. How cute is that? <laughs> we have a little tea drop, little tea caddy. Oh, that's so cute. So there's a little little tray that you'll pop it on after. But if I, if I remember correctly, you pop some of these. Yeah, here we go. So you pop, so yeah, ditch the tea bag. So we put some of this into our little teapot. Take the little lid off. And pop it into the... Oh, I'm not going to try and do it here. Oh, you pop it into here. And then you drop this into your little teacup. And let it brew. Oh, it's got all the details on the back here. Like, what to do? Oh, I wonder what this tastes like. Chocolate Earl Grey. Oh, that's so cute. So we've got like a little, little tea, tea, tea caddy. That's so cute. So there's number one. I'm going to have to try and like pile all this up somewhere. Keep the packaging really nice. There we go. I'll pop that there. So, uh, number two. Let's jump into number two, shall I? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I've not got... It's probably a good thing I've not got my nails on at the moment. So I can actually try and... Oh, no! Open this without ruining it all. I think I'm going to just have to do my best. I apologise if you guys are like, just open it already. Oh! I've got to keep it as much as possible. But, like, look at the pattern on this this is a daisy one so pretty Ooh, what have we got here this is number two isn't it yeah Num Ooh, okay yeah number two wait oh oh we've got some tools so we've got a little rubber we've got the tombow do you know what i've got a glue pen but this is the tombow with a tombow glue pen so is that i don't know if you can see i'm gonna try and see where you can line up on there it's like a normal pen but it's full of glue and it is so handy when you're like doing tippings and like journaling and stuff. So this is the glue one. And if you do foiling as well, I haven't tried it properly myself, but like if you do writing and let it go like slightly dry, so it's tacky, you can use a uh, foiling and then peel it off and you get like foiled lettering. Oh, I haven't tried the Tombow one. I've heard good reviews about it though. So we've got a rubber and a Tombow glue pen. We have got some oh, gorgeous pink, oh, gorgeous pink tweezers. So these are professional, these look like, I'm going to open them. Let's get these out, shall we? Oh, do you know what? I've got some like curvy, spiky ones and I end up stag stabbing myself all the time. These are like, they've got like a rounded edge. Oh, focus, I'm on tippy toes. Can, is that focus for you guys? We've got these like rounded ones. They look like they're going to be so much easier to use. Oh my goodness. Thank you for those. I've not seen that shape uh, tweezer before. So we've got some, we've got glue pen, rubber, tweezers. So it's like we've got journaling tools here. And uh, a Tombow. Thank you very much. What colour is this one? Um, is there a code on this one? Oh, uh, right in the front. Nine, ooh, 942. It is a gorgeous, I don't know how it's showing up on the camera. It's like a, a nudie colour. I don't have anything to hand. Oh, yes, I do. Piece of paper. 
Oh, it's like a really gorgeous taupe colour. I don't think I've got this one. That's nice. Oh, it matches the colour of the, all the packaging so nicely. So we've got Tombow pen as well. So we've got some tools. Oh, where's the rubber? Oh, dropping everything. So this is almost like a basic journaling kit. Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. So that's number two. Pop that up there. And then let's go for number three. Oh, it's like, I feel like a kid in a toy shop. What have we got in here? I can't grab it. Oh, we've got two things. Oh, we've got two things. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got... Whoa. Okay. I don't know what to go to first. Ah. Okay. I'm going to open this one first because it's on a paper clip as well. Oh, my goodness. Lauren, you spoiled us. Do you know what? I've been looking for something like this for so long because I really want to get into resin. It's like, yeah, it's so hard. And I was like, oh, if I could just get like a little pressed daisy. But oh my goodness, look at this. We've got like a little pressed daisy resin charm. Can you? Oh, that's so pretty. And it's on a little, it's got like gold leaf kind of effect around the edge. And it's on like a little golden lobster. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And then there's also a little um, gold paper clip. So I suppose if you don't have anywhere to clip it in your planner, you can always attach it to the paper clip. Oh my goodness, Lauren. Oh, you're so naughty. That is gorgeous. Okay, so we've got that. And then there is also this in that bag. Like, there should just be one thing in each packet, Lauren. You're not meant to put two things in. This is like a washi cutter. Oh, oh, I can't get into it. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, let me what? Let me turn it over so you can see it. It's just on the white. There we go. Oh my goodness. I love it. I have the one from the advent in my planner and it is so useful. So it's like a lovely thick acrylic, um, like washi cutter basically. Oh, look at the little tea bag. Oh, I love it. I love the flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Right. So we've got a washi cutter. I'm going to pop that back in the, um, in the bag so I don't lose it off the card. So you have a washi cutter. Ta-da. And let's pop this back in here as well, shall we? So we don't don't spoil it. I want to keep everything so pretty. Ooh. So we have a little daisy charm and paper clip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was day three. Oh my god, I feel like we've done like ten days already. We're only on day three. Or package three, however you want to do it. So number four down here. I feel like this is washy. Look at this paper. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colours of it. Can you see that? Oh, okay. Come on. I just don't want anything to majorly rip. Oh, that was close. Ooh. Oh, I think I know what this is. It is. We've got some tipping tape. This is like literally like a, a journalist's dream starter set this is so good i love this tip and tape and i cannot get enough of it i need to do a little video showing you guys like how to use this because this is a this is a game changer so if you if you tip in like vellum and um acetate or uh, journaling card anything you tip anything in like you know you stick into like a bound book this is a game changer it's um I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little perforated line down the middle. So you can peel off one half of the tape and stick it to what you're like sticking in. And then you can like fold it over without it sticking to anything. Tuck it right into the seam of your book and then peel it off and stick it. Oh, it's a game changer. Lauren, you are a genius for inventing this. This is so, so handy. Um, and then it just flips like a normal page and you can barely see it. It's so good. So we've got some tipping tape, which means I can actually carry on using my tipping tape because I'm slowly running out and I need to order more so thank you for popping that in so we've got some tipping tape pop that out of the way um what day was that that was day four. Oh, I keep saying day it's not an advent unless you're doing it like an advent obviously you can open this however you like but package number five sorry oh look at this paper look at it it's so pretty oi 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 I should be really quiet, shouldn't I? I always end up doing like silly sound effects. It would be really quiet and you want an ASMR video. There you go. <laughs> what have we got in here? Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, we have another one of these. Oh, yeah, we have another one of these. If you've got the advent, you've got another one of these. Oh my goodness, I love this. So 
this is a, a like a page holder um so especially if you do journaling or bound book planning this is so handy oh it's a really lightweight and oh it's on double oh look at the pattern on both sides i'm going to show you this this has got like a looks like it's got um the plastic over it to protect i don't know if i can get it off in a oh i can in a timely manner for you oh there we go you get to see it oh look at the pattern oh, i love it so you like um you tuck it like say imagine this is a book open you tuck it over your pages and it holds your book open so if you're a reader and you like reading or like cooking anything we need to keep a book open this is so handy for that and because it's so thin and lightweight when I've been reading I have it open and then you can just hold it like one hand and really relax you can actually turn your page and tuck it under really nicely so like you just very gently pull it out from here and as you push it you just try and tuck it on and it's really handy it doesn't you don't have to keep taking it on and off but I use this when I'm doing like my art journaling or if I've just got my planner open so I've got bound book planners now so just to keep them open on that page they're so handy and look how pretty it looks just touching the top of your page oh I love it Lauren oh so you've got like a yeah page holder I suppose I think that's what you call it page holder I should go back to that card at the beginning shouldn't I and actually like read out the list of things and give you the correct name uh so that was what what was that one here that was installment number five i don't even know how many we've got it's just like never ending i don't want it to finish so this is number six. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is a good peel it's a good peel guys you'll get this if you understand oh no <laughs> it was a good peel and st until then i was gonna say if you uh if you're like me and like to save things oh, oh, oh. there we go that felt like a good peel. <laughs> look at look, look how pretty this is. Can you imagine making dashboards? I'm gonna have to like cut this down to size. Oh, you can make it into a pocket. <gasps> Just trim it. Oh, why did I not think of that? And then, and then laminate it, and then you've got a little pocket. Oh, oh, we got washi. Okay, we got washi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me um, let me see if I can line it all. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm not going to go through and open them all up. I'll have to do uh, like um, a swatch of all of these. This is so pretty. So we've got, I don't know if it is, it focusing? let me see on tiptoes. Oh, is it focusing? We've got this daisy print. It's really pretty. It's like top and bottom daisy print. And then we've got like the, oh, like the text font, which is, um, it looks like what's in the background of all the stickers. Oh, uh, and it's it's um it's not white like the stickers look um quite white but this is um it's almost like a like a creamy color to it really pale um I want to say like a coffee kind of brown oh look at that I'm just trying to read some of the words on it it's so pretty um can't see if it says how big this is what are we going for 15 I think I'm those to 15 oh yeah, it doesn't say the size and then there's this one i don't know what flower this is this is um that one there i want to say like orchid i apologize if i've got that wrong how pretty and you got like the daisies and the leaves and the leaves oh my gosh i sound like my four-year-old leafers <laughs> leaves sorry in there oh it's so pretty it is the packaging on a washi tape basically oh and then this i don't know if you can see this one oh, you're gonna focus there we go like a daisy, like little uh, sprig, if that makes sense. Can you focus, can I go really close? How, how close can I go? There we go. It's just repeated all the way around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dropped it. There we go. That's really pretty. I like that one. And then I don't know if you can see on camera. It is like a really faint, can kind of see, can you see it like a little leaf? Leaf is? <laughs> leaf pattern. It's like just very light like background so it's not a plain cream it is um i can't find anything that could show you kind of like the like the the leaves on here but like really really f oh there we go can you see that really faint so that look really gorgeous for like layering oh there we go we've got one two three four five i think we've got like four i want to say 15 and then a 20 i could be completely wrong but we've got yeah these four are a little bit slimmer than this one got five washies there oh so pretty oh don't want to lose them okay that was installment number that was number six i'm gonna stand those oh gosh in a little tower over there hopefully i don't lose any 
Put them there. Whoa, don't fall over. Right. Uh, seven. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Number seven. Ooh, this is a different size. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. Can you imagine, like, oh, there's like journaling. Journaler in me is going crazy. Like, oh, there's so many things I could do. I'm going to try. Oh, no. It's really tight, this one. I just don't want to ruin the stickers. I think that's what it is. Paper, I'm going to end up cutting up now. I'll try and keep the stickers as well. Oh, got it. Oh, <gasps> is this what I... Th oh, my goodness. It's a pen pal. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Sorry, I realised I was shouting then. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness, we have another pen pal. If you haven't seen Lauren's magne magnetic pen pals, these are absolutely amazing. Oh, come out, come out, come out. Oh, my goodness. Look at the design. There we go. Oh, I'm shaking. It's so good. Oh, look at that. So down here, got little Lauren's little um, logo. And then there's just like the little tea bag. Can you see the little tea bag there? Oh, I think it's the same. It looks like the artwork from here. So like the little tea bag and actual tea bag and the spoon and that down there. Oh, my goodness. And then we've got that gorgeous. It's like a nude background. Like a nude, like taupe background with that floral daisy print, and then <gasps> on the back, it's this like the scalloped design. Oh my goodness, this just oh, it's so pretty. Look at the detail. So the special thing about this, it is a magnetic clip which you can use to mark your page. But this is, oh look 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 look. Oh hang on, where's that tombow? Oh 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 oh. It's a pen pal. So you open the little pouch bit in the pouch bit hole in the middle, <laughs> and you slide your pen in it. Ah, look at that. And it holds your pen to your planner. It's amazing. I love these. I've been after something like this for so long. And it's really big as well. So you can see, like, you can see the gap there. So considering that's got a massive gap for a much bigger pen. You see? Ooh, there. You see? Look, ooh. You can get a much thicker pen in this. Um, I've had some quite fat pens in mine. But even though that's got all that gap, look. Holding that Tombow in place. Ah, da, da. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Lauren, I love it. So you have a pen pal. Oh, so pretty. I love these. Definitely. I've got so many of them already. <laughs> I'm going to put that back in there. Oh, I love it. It's a magnetic pen loop on instalment number seven. Let's go to... Let's see if we can find... Oh, number eight. Oh, I think it threw me because it wasn't in a... <gasps> In a little... Oh, my goodness, look. So, I'm not going to peel this off just yet. I might have to try and get that off. Let's... Um, how do I get into this? Oh, hang on. How do I get into this? We've got stickers. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was like, I'm going to struggle to get that sticker off of this. Oh, am I going to be able to get this out? Oh, no, it's tight. Come out. Come out. Hang on. We've got stickers. We've got functionals. I went... Look Oh, I've just seen that they're not actually just squares. Oh my goodness, are these slightly different? So Lauren brought out some of this kind of range a while ago. And they're like, oh, I don't want to use them because I want to hold them. But they are so handy. Ooh, come out. Oh, oh my goodness, there's so many. Lauren! I can't believe I'm telling Lauren Phelps off. <laughs> I never thought I'd be telling Lauren Phelps off. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have got eight of each. We've got 16 little sheets. We've got eight, oh, eight circles and eight squares. But if you can see, they are, ever since I, I thought they were going to be full squares, but they're not. There is a full square and then the middle bit is a square as well. I'm not going to try peeling it off. So you've got, you can obviously like, you can use this probably like together but you've got like a little square, oh, sorry, a little square which you can use as like a little tick box. And then you've got like the little bit in the middle which you can just use as like a little marker. Oh my goodness. That is so handy. So you've got the same same thing with the circles. You've got a little like target as it were. So you can use the little, out the bigger circle and then, you know, use it as a little tick box where you tick it. And then you can use a little dot in the middle as like a little point, like a little to-do point. Or you could, I suppose you could use it all together. Oh, what would be really good is using it as like the outside. And then when you've done it, stick the middle bit in. Oh, that's a good idea. So we've got the circles and the squares. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got this, uh, like a taupey colour, creamy taupey colour. And then we've got a nude. 
It's like a pinky nude. It's a lovely lilac-y, like a grey purple. Pink! Oh my goodness, pink! I love the pink. It's, it, I'm trying to see if it's on camera. I think that is quite true to cut. It looks a little bit, maybe a little bit brighter on camera. It's a really pretty pink. Then we've got like a, like a mauvey, like a plummy colour. This gorgeous teal. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Mustard. And then like a olivey green. I'm going to get all those colours completely and utterly. It's probably not the colours that Lauren was <laughs> calling them. But it looks like all the colours used in the designs of the artwork. So it's like the colour palette that she's used. Oh, I love them. So there, and then we've got the same, but it looks like we've got the same in all the circles. So yeah, got like the, the oatmeal-y, uh, the, the kind of like the nude taupe, the lilac pink, mauve. I want to say plummy. I can't remember what you'd call that. Like a teal, mustard, and then like olive green. So many, so many. And then to top it all off, look how cute the little pocket is. How cute is this? So, oh, of course, Lauren. I'm sorry, I was just reading that. Obviously, like, once you've posted it, like, just share it and tag Lauren in anything you do. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. I was, like, getting a little bit. Oh. This is really cute. I don't want to cover the daisy up. This looks really pretty. I don't want to cover it up. But what I would do is, like, probably seal the sides up for this. Um, or seal at least one side up. And just use it as a little pocket. But how cute is that? A little pocket to keep them in. Your little functional stickers. That is so cute. Lauren, this is so naughty. You... Generally, generally, like, look how many sticker sheets are there. So many. You've spoiled us. We're only on instalment number eight. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. We're on nine. I believe I, I must have opened it, but I suppose it doesn't matter which order you open it into. The other one, the words are this way up. So I'm guessing this is number nine. Number six was around the other way. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm, oh, my goodness. This has got to be more washy, surely. But, like, look, it's a long tube. How much wash is going to be in here? Oh no, don't ruin the sticker. Hang on, bear with me guys. I don't want to ruin the stickers. I really want to keep them. I had in my head, if there were stickers in here, I can make some dashboards with them for like each month. Come on, can I get this off without ruining it? Oh no, I'm scared. I have seen people using that, is it that sticker undo? Or that liquid? Oh no. Come on, I can do this. I did think about using some. Oh no! Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sacrifice some of the paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip the paper around it. <laughs> I did think I might have to get some of that sticker undo stuff though. I think you just like paint it on a little bit, and then it undoes all the sticky glue, and then the sticker usually dries, and you can like reuse it. Oh no, this is like sacrilege. I'm so sorry, Lauren. I really don't want to rip the paper, but. I'm going to have to, just to keep the sticker. Oh, come on. Oh, be kind. Be kind. Oi, oi, oi. This is where I could do with having nails again. Oi. I'm nearly there. Oh, come on. I'm like shaking with excitement as well, which doesn't help. There we go. I've only, I've only ruined a little bit. I've still got all of this that I can use. Oh my goodness. That's washy. Oh my goodness, it's washy. Oh my goodness, there's so much of it. Okay, let me just... Whoa. I think that's all of it. There we go. Okay, let's put number nine out of the way. I'm trying to keep all the bags to one side. So we have got... Oh my goodness, look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, there's so much. It's so big. There's so much of it. I've got to use the hands. <laughs> okay, whoa, okay. We've got washi. So we've got one, two, three, four, oh, five instalments, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine washies. Okay. Oh, so we've got, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, look at it. So we've got hanging teacups. I, I, I'll do swatches to show you properly. We've got hanging teacups. Look. And the little, so this is like the artwork on the front of the box. Look at that pile of teacups. Positivity! I love it. Oh my goodness, Lauren, this is so good. Oh, look at it! Little teapot. Quiet moments. I love that. So that's obviously, I'm going to, uh, 25 millimetre maybe? I'm going to get this all completely wrong. That could be 30. Oh, I don't know. There's, there's that one. And then we've got this one, which is, oh, is this the right way? Yeah, I think so. So we've got like daisies and the leaves. 
Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Hope you guys can see this okay. Whoa. Okay, so there's that one. And then we've got this one. This is this is like that scalloped. Oh, look at that. It's got like a little retro vibe to it. Like I want to say like, like tea house. I can't think of what I'm thinking of. In my head, I can see it. Like, um, oh, it's so pretty. It's like mermaid scallops. It's so, so pretty. Oh yeah, okay, there's that one. And then we've got this, oh, look at this one. I can't wait to do some art journaling. Look at this. This is gorgeous. So this is like all the little artworks. Little daisies and the stacked teacups. Oh, look at it. And it's like got like, I don't know if you can see, oh, there they go. Like doilies in the background. Look, like, look at that little lace doily. Oh, it's so, like that is how I want a journaling page to look. I want to be able to recreate this. This is so pretty. We've got the little, oh, focus. Put my hand behind it. There we go. Hanging teacups and the little tea bags. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so there's that one. And then we've got like some like header washi. Again, in those colours. They've got the teal, like the darker mauve, uh, like the taupe, the pale pink and like the olive green. They're the colours. And it is like a repeating scallop pattern. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have like a whole art journal book just on Lauren Phelps. <laughs> like just this anniversary box. Look at this. Look at this washi. Lauren, this is too much. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to put it. I'm going to pop it up here. I don't want it to fall down. Stay there. I'm like shaking with excitement. This is silly. Um, okay. So day nine. Let's find um, number 10. Ooh. 13. Oh, 10. Oh, oh. <gasps> we have more stickers. Oh my goodness. Stickers. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't get into it quick enough. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So this is installment number 10. Oh my goodness. Again, we've got another little bucket. <gasps> I am so, oh, I really hope this fits in my plan. I'm so just going to like stick the sides together and just, use, look at that. Look, so this is a little pocket. Oh, look at the tea bag inside. Lauren, your artwork is so gorgeous it's beautiful um and then you've got like yeah a little pocket to put your bits of bobs in oh but look okay i'm getting distracted so easily distracted okay can you guys see that there oh look at this this is like the artwork elements you got like look you got the hanging the little teapot scent it oh look at it all there's a little hanging teacups i love this i love this little Oh, look at the little tea stains. Oh my goodness, this reminds me. I did, oh, I did an um, art project when I was at school and I included tea stains just like that about my great grandma. Oh, so pretty. Tea bags, look, look at it. Oh, Lauren, it's beautiful. Okay, so that's, um, that's the first one. Oh my goodness, look, there's so many. Oh. Oh, look, it's like paper scraps. Oh, it's paper scraps and like washi strips. All the different artworks, tea stains, the text. So there it is all together. But it's like, I don't know if you can see it, like it's like a corner, like how you would rip it. So if you're really wanting to have a go at journaling and you, you're just not very good at like ripping the paper or not sure what to do, you've got stickers just to get you going. Oh my goodness. And you could recreate, like look, using this, you can recreate this little piece here. Oh, it's so pretty. So we've got like, um, so we've got ripped papers. <gasps> oh, look. And then we've got like, look, all the tea bags, tea cups. I love this. This is so pretty. This is like eucalyptus leaves. An orchid, I want to say. Look at it. Oh, the little sugar cubes. Oh, okay. So we've got those. Oh, look. So this is a little bit like what we had before. Like these are just like dots. So this is so cute for like layering when you do art journaling. So we've got the we've got the font, the little look at the detail. They're not just scallops, they are I don't know if you, if I let me go that close. You've got all the detailing on the scallops. So pretty. And then look that flower. So look, that's my thumb next to it, just for size wise. And you've got all that detail in that teeny tiny little sticker. We've got the tea stains, we've got the leaves. Oh, we've got individual scallops, look. Oh my goodness. Then we've got like this little faded, I don't know if you can see the detail, there's like little brush marks in there. 
and like tea. Oh, it's so pretty. So we've got dots. It's beautiful for like layering up and making like those art journal in pieces. Okay. And then we've got flowers and leaves. Look at the daisies. I really want to use some of this and recreate this like little daisy image here in my in my art journal. I'm going to try. Laura, I'm going to try to do you proud. But there's um there's the, there's the flowers. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I was going to say we haven't got anything on this one, but it is doilies. I don't know if you can see. But it's, I don't know. Look, can you see? Oh, look. It's really, really faint. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but it is. Can you see there? It's like a little doily. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I peel one off. Because they're on her really gorgeous little... Oh, I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> it's not going to help. It's so sunny outside. It's a, her really gorgeous, um, like, transparent matte sticker. Oh, so pretty. I don't know if you can... If I zoom out, there we go. Is that a bit better? We've got like little mini doily stickers. So cute. Oh, we've got the teacups. Teacups and teapot. Look at it. So you can imagine like, because this is all like transparent sticker, like you can layer this up to your heart's content and you'll just see all the elements through each other. But we've got, we've got some teapots and teacups. Oh my goodness. Lauren, this is beautiful. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artwork sheets of stickers in the most gorgeous little pocket the attention to detail that lauren puts into all of this is unbelievable it's literally unbelievable it's mind-blowing so um those are the stickers okay oh that was number 10 oh it's still going it's like never ending let's do installment number 11 shall we jump in to number 11 Oh, what have we got here? See, look again. Lauren, this is meant to be like one thing in a bag. Completely spoiled us. Two things again. Oh, we've got notepads and post-its. Oh, we've got these cute little post-its here. And that little doily in the background with the flower up. And the little tea bag with love. That is going to be so cute for adding a little note to Happy Mail like, with love. That is so cute. I love the... Can you see in the background, like, the little scallops as well? I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't just look... It's not just, like, the mermaid scallops. It has actually got... I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's, like, detail on some of them. You know, some of them got, like, the little lines. It's actually got the detail. Oh, my goodness. And then we have a little notepad. My quiet... My, oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. I'm on here. My quiet moments. Inhale, exhale. I am brave. I am strong. I am enough. This is going to be really nice for, like, writing, like, a little affirmation out each day. You got a little doily at the top. How cute is that? It's a little notepad. Love. Okay. Um, that was installment eleven. Oh my goodness, it's still going. Twelve. Ooh, this is gonna be more washy. It's the shape of a washy. It's a rather large washy. If it is. Oh, I can't get it out. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. Don't rip. Come on. Oh, almost perfect peel then. Come on. Ooh. It is another washi. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come out. It doesn't want to come out. Come out and play. Ooh. It, it. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think I know. Oh, she did sneak a little. Is Hang on. I've got to open this one. I'm sorry. Hang on. Uh, oh. Bear with me. I'm not even going to worry about what I'm saving here. Oh, come on. Is it that little? Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. I need to get into this one because I think, I think this is, I think I know what this is. Oh, my goodness. If it is, I am so excited. It is. It is. Oh, my goodness. You guys, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. <gasps> okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So it is a tape. Oh my goodness, but you guys look. Oh my goodness. I think I know it is. It's got to be. Oh my goodness, Lauren. Oh! I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Let me stand this up so you guys look like a white background. Oh my goodness. It's pet tape. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's pet tape, you guys. <gasps> look. Okay, I don't know how long the design is. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, stuff the art journal and she's done it for us. Look at this. Oh my goodness, it's never ending. When does the design end? 
oh my oh here okay we're back to daisy again aren't we oh my goodness so if you guys haven't used this before it is amazing so it is clear tape as you can see look hello see my fingers and we've got there's like um we got sorry we got font with like little um white specks in the background going to the daisy in the little frame teacups and doily there's those little hanging cups and tea bag little music notes and the, and the orchid look at that oh my goodness and we've got some of the scallops and then it ends again with the font and then we're back to daisy so we've got like a lovely long look oh my word i am lost for words so you can like obviously use this just like cut oh i'm gonna have to try and roll this back up i don't want to ruin it hang on so it is sticky on the back it is like a, it's like basically a roll of sticker art on a well yeah a roll of sticky art oh i'm gonna very carefully roll this back up um so yeah you can obviously just cut a section off and layer it over whatever it's like you know you want to layer it over you can cut out elements of it so like say you wanted just this one little section you could cut around that and then have that as like a little sticker oh my goodness lauren and pet tape is so expensive so i'm like i'm really reluctant i've got a few um i think i'm down to my last one or two actually um and i'm like reluctant to use it all because it's like i don't it's so expensive pet tape i know some shops you, you can do like a little sample of it and that's like usually the best way to to grab it but oh my goodness lauren this is amazing <gasps> is that like a little yeah so look there you go so you, you you'll peel it off got like the little back in there look so you've got the clear backing and then it's sticky on the back and then you can just oh this is beautiful so yeah you can like you could cut out around this little element here and just use that and layer it up oh it is gorgeous lauren oh my goodness thank you so much thank you this is so so beautiful um so we've got pet tape sorry installment number 12 is pet tape <laughs> it's so good um i don't know where to put everything okay i'm gonna stand over there okay awesome deep breath <sighs> okay number 13 <laughs> <laughs> it's still going we haven't even finished i think we're down to our last couple here we go Whee! oh stuck to it number 13 oh we're going here oh lauren this is gorgeous let's put that out of the way oh i realized like i've stopped showing you all the bags <laughs> i'm so so caught up with what's going on in here so we have got so i'm um, going back to this tipping tape this is you would use that one these because lauren does some beautiful little tippings and they're like oh, look at this oh i think let me hang up so we've got some some vellum tippings i'll do it on on here so you can see it properly we've got the daisy so you can see like it's all cut out oh let me turn it over there we go so it's it's cut out around the daisy but we've got daisy cut out oh it's so pretty and then there is the little oh look We've got the tea bag and the daisy and leaves. Oh, gentle chamomile. Oh, it's so pretty. And then that's that's shaped as well. And then we oh my goodness, look with the floral artwork. So like I was saying, you'll you'll pop the tape along the edge here and then fold it over, tuck this in to your book, peel it off and stick it, and then it just turns like a page. So pretty. This one's cut out as well. Is that a floral? So you could obviously do it that way round that way around i've seen people doing it from like the top and have it like a little flap that way so pretty oh i got the flowers actually that looks really pretty that way as well oh okay and then we've got oh it's another shaped one. Oh my goodness look so we've got like the teacup with flowers coming out of it and that's shaped as well like, i'll try to show you it's shaped as well oh okay and then we've got a full page one love this I would use as like a cover page to like all the artwork that I'm going to do with all of this. That's my plan. <laughs> we got like a grid and then all that artwork going on in the corner there. It's so pretty. So obviously you can trim these down. You can have them. I've seen people with them with like like here, like a bigger planner and it is small and it looks just as pretty still. So it doesn't matter what size planner you are using. These are so pretty, so delicate as well. And it's a really gorgeous, like thick vellum, but it's like, it's thick, so it's strong, but it's like really thin. So it won't bulk up your planner at all. Oh, there we go. So we've got some, some tippins. I'm going to pop these back in here because I don't want them to get creased. Because they're so delicate. Pop those in there. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm slowly calming down. <laughs> um, okay. 
What was that one? That was number 13. So this says 15. So is this one at the back 14? It is. Jumping here. I love it that we've got some really big, big bags so I can actually definitely cut them down. I'm guessing we've got some papers and... Ooh, look. Okay, I'm going to have to find something. What is that? I think we've got some vellums and acetates here. Let's pop that up out of the way. I think you'll be able to... If I do it on the bottom of the box, you'll be able to see. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's loads. One. Oop. Hang on. One. One, two, three, four acetates and four... Oh my goodness, Lauren. I can't believe I'm telling Lauren Phelps off. Lauren, you're being naughty. Okay, let me um, let's go from the top, shall we? So we've got some vellum. Can you see that on the white of the box? Ooh, focus. There we go. Focus down there. So you've got like that daisy and leaf print going on there. That's really pretty. And then let's try. Let me do it like that. We've got. Oh, let me turn it over. I haven't got the back front. There we go. We've got the words. It's like a um, typewriter font and it is like a really pale, like I want to say it's not black, it's not grey, it's not brown. It's like a really, it's a really nice colour. Oh, I've just realised it's what's on the inside of the box. Oh, it's so good. Is it anything is like, I'm going to want to like keep it all. <laughs> I'm not going to want to use it. Oh, hang on, turn this one around. There we go. That is gorgeous. So it's like all the art elements. Um, so you've got like the teacups, the flowers, like the little daisy. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, okay. That's that one. So that's the fourth one. And then we got a little scallop. Let me turn this one over because I think it's on that way. Got that scallop print. Look at all the detail in all those different scallops. I keep saying scallops. They are scallops, aren't they? Like the scales. I know what I mean. So gorgeous. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see these. So this is like the print on that bag. That's the um the orchids. Am I right in saying these are orchids? It's that gorgeous acetate. Number one, it's like never ending. This one is amazing. Look at this, like tea stains, tea stains, coffee stains, cup stains. <laughs> it's so, I just want to like lay it every, I just want to keep it all, I don't frame it. <laughs> and then, oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, should I turn it around that way? So it's like that scallop print. Again, you know when you've said a word so many times, you can't, am I saying that right? Scallop print? <laughs> Mermaid scale. The detailing on there and it's like that lovely taupe colour that's really pretty and then lastly oh I don't know if it's going to help me doing that because it's white font it's that font but we've got it in white that's really pretty as well this is going to look so nice like like layered up look at that oh look at that oh I love that oh there we go okay so we've got four acetates and we've got four vellums. Oh, it's just, it's just too good. I'm going to leave those there. And then, oh, sadly, we are down. Oh, down to our last one, which is probably really good. I'm just trying to see. This video is going to be so long. I'm going to have to upload this to my YouTube. I hope you guys have enjoyed opening this with me. I'm sorry for all the squeals and the side tracking and the sound effects. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I was like, oh, we've got papers. And then I heard it fit like it made a noise. It's not papers. Oh my goodness, Lauren. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. We have a pouch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have a pouch. Okay, look at that zip. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Lauren. Okay, let me in. I was like, oh yeah, in the anniversary box we've got vellums and acetates and we've got some really gorgeous papers and this is going to be the papers because it's the same size. Oh my goodness, it's not, it's a pouch. I don't know if you can hear me over all the rustling. Oh my goodness, look. Oh my goodness, look, it's a pouch. <laughs> so we've got this like clear um, like vinyl pouch and then it's got this like uh, material bit along the top with all the artwork on. Oh my goodness, look at this chunky zip I love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. It's like the size of the box. This is huge. Um, oh my goodness, like, why is that? So I'm guessing this is like, um, I don't even, this isn't quite UK A4, but it's the same size as that almost. Look, it's huge. 
Oh my goodness, like you can put all your bits and bobs in it. Oh my goodness, love it. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's got that daisy, um, oh let me see if I can focus it. There we go, it's got that daisy artwork along the top. Look at this chunky zip. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> wow, Lauren. Oh my goodness, Lauren Phelps, you are so naughty. You have spoiled us. This is amazing, I love it. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at it. Oh my gosh, okay. <sighs> Come. So, in reverse. Pouch. Vellums and acetates. Oh, I'm not even going to get this in the right order, am I? Let's just put it all back in the box. <laughs> Good. Tippins. Notepad and post-its. Oh my goodness, there's so much artwork. Stickers. We've got functional stickers. Oh, pen pal. Oh, just that alone. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, washi, large washi and headers. I'm gonna lose it all. Hopefully I can squeeze it all back in the box. Oh, okay. I hope you guys, if you could see the grin on my face, my cheeks are hurting with <laughs> smiling so much. Oh, we've got the, um, the smaller washies. <laughs> so much to go in. We've got the pet tape. Oh my goodness, we've got pet tape. Um, we've got tip in. We have got, oh, we've got washi cutter, page holder, this gorgeous little charm. I'm shaking again now. Oh my goodness, this is too much, Lauren. We've got all our, our journaling tools. Literally, this is all we need for journaling in here. Oh, the cutest little, cutest little tea caddy in the world. Oh, I think that's everything. Oh, and then obviously don't, you know, don't forget all the gorgeous packaging. Oh, oh breathe. So thank you so, so much, Lauren Phelps, for creating the most amazing anniversary box. And happy anniversary once again. Oh my goodness. I am blown away with what you've included in this. Um, it's beautiful. It's stunning. I recommend if you really, really want to get your hands on this, I'm already saving. Put a little tiny little bit to one side each month, each payday, whatever you can. I definitely recommend saving up all year long and um, grabbing this. Look at all the stuff that we have got in this box. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crazy. And obviously she's working with Pippi Plans. So if you're in the UK, you don't even have to worry about all the all the postage and everything. It's amazing. And thank you so much again, um, Lauren and Roxanne for not only just joining up, but thank you so much, Rox, for helping me get my hands on this. I am blown away, absolutely blown away by this box. Thank you. Um, yeah, I need a minute and then I'm going to take some photos and I'll upload this um, as soon as I've, everyone else has started receiving their boxes. So there's no spoilers, but thank you for joining me. Sorry it is so long. Oh my God, I'm blown away. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Until next time. Bye guys.